Hello future painter fans, my name is Eric Holman and I'm here today to talk to you about the top reasons I use Corel Painter almost every day. Starting off with number one, it's the fact that it just feels mostly like natural drawing and that would be a, a big number one. I'm going to go over a, a couple of reasons why I why I like using it, but uh, quite simply enough, when I put the, the stylus to the tablet, it just feels like I'm, uh, I'm drawing on paper or darn close to it. And uh, everything from, from sketching to, to full out rendering, here's some, some sketches of this, of this concept car here, to full out renderings and everything in between, uh, it just, just feels like I'm, like I'm really drawing. And it's not, I don't, it doesn't feel computerized or, uh, or digital, it, it, just, it just feels right. And that's probably when I when I talk to people about Corel Painter, and and try to get people into it. That's that's number one reason and that goes a long way. I think one of the reasons, and especially for for vehicle design, and and well product design in general. I do product and, and transportation design. Is is that in uh, transportation design like what you see here? Vehicles. Uh, you know, you, you're working with lots of lots of fast fast lines and big arcs. And uh, you like nice, clean lines when you're when you're starting to draw and sketch. And one of the things I think that I mean, one of the more overlooked features in Corel Painter is the is the brush tracker. You go to Preferences and uh, Brush Tracking right here. This is one of the first things I'll do when I'll set up or when I'll do a fresh install of Corel Painter is go to this brush tracker, and I'll just drop down a, a quick a quick stroke there and what this does in the in the scratch pad is it measures your your stroke velocity pressure and kind of calculates and sets up your how it translates the information coming in from the Wacom tablet and uh, kind of sets up how you how you will draw and sketch in the program if you kind of draw slower and, and more methodically you can you can kind of do that do that in here but as an industrial designer I usually draw in uh, fast broad strokes so my uh, brush uh, tracker will do something like that. And what that means is that it takes less samples over time and what that means for your lines is that it will create cleaner, smoother lines for you. If you do this very slow it will pick up every little nuance of your of your stroke and will give you sort of these weird little wobbles. So I like to do it. There's a nice clean fast stroke there and you can you can see the samples there and okay. And I'm using the real 2B pencil here which is actually pretty neat. It picks up the tilt of your pencil and you can not only draw thin lines but you tilt it over and you can you can do some some shading which is a uh, as of painter x2 I think is one of the uh, more fun brushes to uh, to sketch with so the brush tracker is is one of those those features that I, uh, I think it's maybe gets overlooked in, in tutorials and whatnot I like to I like to talk about it, especially for more so for industrial design where line quality and line speed are, are very important and another thing when we're talking about industrial design is uh, a neat feature called snap to curves and uh, basically you, you break out your pen and anybody familiar most people should be familiar with the pen tool is you, you can you can draw a curve end it and hide that curve and then if by pressing uh, shift and alt together it will snap to curves now this is huge for industrial design which uses um, very uh, very long, tight, precise curves, especially when you're talking about a rendering like this. It's uh, it's very important that your lines be very crisp and clean, and uh, being able to snap to curves is is very very nice, and it's something especially invaluable when you're talking about these kind of uh, shapes and forms. Again, long, broad curves. It's just something I'll, I'll use all the time, and basically, you know, you're going to have your your curves hidden underneath, and be able to uh, to draw on top of them. And again, those are just a couple of small things. You know, we can we can talk. You can talk about the stock brushes all day long, and and how varied and, and very cool they are. I mean, I, I I rarely have to modify any brushes out of here because they're all they're all great. And uh, as an industrial designer, I don't use that many that many brushes. You know, you're just a couple that that you can be used to create an image like this. So that's my that's my five minute video and I, uh, I hope it helps you out in choosing Corel Painter. I highly recommend it. I use it every day and uh, I could not do my job without it. Thank you very much. Bye.